Welcome back to the Global Local Top Tips. And today, one of my all time favorites, bread and butter pudding. Traditionally, bread and butter pudding was a little bit clunky. It was a little bit boring. But we're gonna show you a really simple way to do it today. Where it's gonna be a little tastier, a little sweeter, and so much easier to do. So to get started with our bread and butter pudding, what I've got is one whole loaf of bread. And you know what? Yesterday's bread or the day before is perfect because you don't want it too fresh because the custard that we're going to make you'll find it harder to get it to absorb into the bread so we want it about a day or two days old and we're going to start off with we've got six eggs here we're going to put it in for a bowl we've got 150 grams of brown sugar white sugar is, is also okay but brown sugar is better because it just gives a better finish to, to the custard I've got 150 grams of currants. I've got 100 grams of almonds. I've got one tablespoon of cocoa. Just for something a little bit, a little bit different in there. I've got one teaspoon of vanilla seed. And I've got one liter of whole milk and I've got 200 grams of melted butter so rather now than buttering each slice of this bread I'm just going to put it straight into the custard and that there's a couple of reasons for that one it's much much quicker two I'm not going to get any dry spots now on this bread because I have put the butter in all of it rather than just buttering each piece and I'm missing little bits and so this is a much more effective way of getting that butter flavor right through there. So straight in here, we're just gonna break all this up. Sure all the milk and eggs and butter, it's all combined in there. And with our bread, rather than layering our bread in our, in our tray and then pouring this in and trying to make sure that we wet every piece, what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically soak our bread in this mix. And we're gonna let it soak in there for about 20 minutes. So put it all in, get it all wet. Cover with lad wrap in the fridge, 20 minutes. So I've got my, my mix ready. Been in the fridge for 20 minutes. You can see that it's sucked up all that porridge. And what I wanna do is I just wanna break all this up. I just wanna make sure there's no dry spots because it's one of the worst things you can happen, you can get in a bread and butter pudding is that when you're eating it and then there's just a big dry piece of bread So just make sure it's all in there. Just make sure all that bread is soaked up all that, that custard. So I've got my, my earthware dish here and I've just sprayed it with a little bit of spray oil. And that's how simple it is, it just goes straight in there. Screw it out, you don't wanna, you don't wanna waste any. Flatten it down a little bit. You don't want it too even, okay? So you want it, you want it to crisp up. And I'm gonna just add a few more almonds on the top. And they'll just toast up beautifully. Into the oven at 180 for about 25 minutes. So here our bread and butter pudding is done and it's looking absolutely beautiful. You can see that it's got a nice crust on the top. I just want to finish this off. A little bit of maple syrup. Just let it soak in there for a minute or two. It's beautiful. And let's get a cut, piece cut out here. Oh, look at that. 
beautiful you can see it's beautiful and soft still so here's our bread and butter pudding and it's looking absolutely fantastic it's just so soft and fluffy on the inside and it's got that crunch on the outside Let's have a taste and you can see that nuts and the fruit and everything through there Absolutely. Beautiful again with some cream. But there's so many flavours through this. It's not overly sweet. And that maple syrup just gives a beautiful finish to it. I hope you enjoyed. Please comment down below any videos that you'd like to see me do in the future. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. We'll see you soon.